So we had the little circle, we opened up the circle, we created a flat line. And once we got the flat line, now we're vertical in that cartwheel. I didn't talk about any details about arm position, leg position, anything like that. I'm just talking about how to take the basic concept of rolling through that handstand from a very supported, stable position on the ground to something higher up. Now, you could say that you need a handstand as a prerequisite, but it's what comes first, the chicken or the egg. Well, who knows? You have to do everything at the same time. So these are progressions that you can just work into. Now, we're gonna take that flat line and that vertical handstand position. We're gonna talk about what that frontal cartwheel looks like. If you come over to this line, we took the circle, we opened it up, we went from an angle. If you get me from the side, you can probably see the angle. I'm gonna just do the cartwheel right here. You'll see the angle right here. If you just look at me from over here, you'll see the angle I follow. I'm not vertical. As I flatten out on the line, if you catch me from right over here, you'll see that I'm completely vertical in that position. Now, I'm a little stiff. That's why I ended up off the line. But if you're completely straight and have good mobility and are in good positions, you will flatten out ideally. Now, let's get a little fancy here. A couple of things. First, leg position. Just wide stance wide stance and we're going to think about lunging, lateral lunge. So it almost initiates by hinging in the hip. I'm sitting into that hip. The more upright I can keep my chest, the better. In order to keep my chest upright, the knee has to be out aggressive. I had my arms out to the side, but if you think about your handstands, you want to think about keeping the arms up. So as you go into that cartwheel, it's leg out to the side, big lunge, arms are up overhead. Now I reach. As I reach, I want to think back leg is in line with my upper body, straight line. And I want to pivot over the front leg. So it's arms up, big step, lunge, pivot. That's what I'm looking for. If I am capable of addressing that beginning, then I'm solid. Most athletes cannot achieve this because they're either stiff in the hips, stiff in the shoulders. That's why cartwheels, roundoffs, and gymnastics are so hard and we can work on Olympic athletes and still make them better. So that's first part of your frontal cartwheel. Next thing to think about, when the hands hit the ground, we want to think about the following. I'm doing a frontal cartwheel. As I hit, the handstand is actually coming from the side. So the hand, instead of placing it in a regular handstand position, it's gonna be turned in. Which means, if you look at the ground, as my hands come down, they're not gonna be here. It's not gonna be thumb leading. It's gonna be fingers leading. The second hand is gonna match it with fingers facing each other. So if you look at just my hands, facing each other. What that allows me to do is, it allows me to block. And that block allows me to transfer from one hand to another and eventually lead into some more complicated things. If you're really proficient at this, you should be able to do a cartwheel and start and finish the same way. If I was starting with a lunge step, I wanna finish with a lunge step. That's what we're looking at. If I have that, I have a frontal cartwheel, and now I can start transferring into other things.